Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video as requested by some of you yesterday, we're going to have a look at Oxygen OS 10.3.5 based on the OnePlus 7 for the Pocophone F1. Now I'll tell you, while I was doing something else, I thought that, you know, we've reviewed the current ROM that is Awaken OS. So let's give it a try and see if it's even worth a video. And to my surprise, I am excited to share this with you and this will have an install and preview and a full video of review as well but before we do all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video we have a link for our telegram channel and discussion group in this particular video's description you can go ahead and join us there we have a lot of fun and a lot of exclusive updates at the same time if you want to support this channel please click on the join button select the membership of your choice it starts from 29 rupees you will get access to a lot of exclusive content. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now the reason this video is titled as the easiest way to install Oxygen OS on the Pocophone F1 is because if you remember, and if you remember my video or some other you know tech channels videos on installing uh, oxygen os in this particular device is earlier you had gsi and then you had to flash a bunch of files well guess what not the case anymore we will need four to five files and we are done all right so i'll tell you what all we need over here but before we do all of that let me warn you the process that i follow includes wiping internal storage that means completely deleting everything from your data and your storage so please go ahead and back up make sure your phone has more than 50 percent battery and only then go ahead and give this a try so considering that you've done all of this i will tell you what exactly is to be done over here now if you see over here I'll show you the list of files that are required. The first thing that I would request you to flash is the firmware. We are using 12.0.2. And after that, we will need the vendor for this particular ROM itself. And then we will need the system plus boot zip, which is the ROM itself. And then we can go ahead and flash midges. And after that, because this ROM doesn't come with a camera application, we will install Gcam as an APK. So how do we install it? Like, I am not using any specialized TWRP version as it was the case earlier. We are using the very normal official version available and uh, ideally I would request you to go to wipe and select format data, type in yes and select the tick mark if your device is encrypted. If it is not encrypted then you are fine, you can skip this step. Once you've done the format data, you just need to click on reboot and you need to select recovery. Now we are not going to do that here because the phone is decrypted. Now once you've booted back into recovery, you just need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system and internal storage and data. Now I'm not wiping internal storage because I have my files there. Because the phone is on this particular stand, I cannot actually connect the OTG pen drive. We will find a way around it. Nonetheless, once you've done the factory reset as shown, you go to install. So you'll first select the firmware, then add more zips, and then you will select the vendor, add more zips, and then system plus boot, add more zips, and select Majisk. All right, so swipe to flash. Now remember, we are flashing the firmware, and then the vendor, then the ROM. And after that, we are flashing Majisk. So that's three to four zip files that you're flashing over here. So of course, that will take time. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see, everything is flashed. So just wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system. Now, the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And it is mentioned in the install notes that in case you see that you're in a boot loop, just go ahead and do a hard reset. By hard reset, what they mean is press and hold the power button till you see the phone power cycle and go back to the boot logo and stuff like that. We will wait for the phone to boot up. You can already see that there is the Oxygen OS boot animation that we have. Okay, so it did boot up just fine for me. The reason I'm saying that is because I did flash Majisk in the first go as well. So you can try that as well. It works perfectly fine. Now, this is something that is very, very normal. Don't panic. It happened to me for the first time. That means it will reach the setup screen. Let the phone sit there for 30 seconds and on its own, it will reboot. 
So that is completely fine because after that it did not reboot for me. And while it boots up, let me tell you, don't try to install ANX camera on this because that gave me a very bad boot loop wherein I had to erase everything and then reflash the ROM, which I'm doing right right now in front of the camera. So yeah, I've you know looked for a compatible Gcam version and we will try that. I will quickly script to the setup menu. All right, so as you can see here, we are already on the home screen. And as I said, we don't really have the camera application. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to file manager and see if we have anything over here. Let's go to storage and let's look for Gcam settings, allow, swipe back, install. Now, right off the bat, the thing that excites me the most about this particular ROM is that it is smooth AF. Yes, it is amazingly smooth and it works just fine. So there we go. We have Gcam. All right, I'm not going to be switching to the front camera because for obvious reasons but anyways so the camera is working fine now you do have a working camera with portrait mode and other things you might not have amazing amazing options like you get in the nx camera and stuff but yes this gets the job done now if you have a look over here this really really works very very smooth you already have majisk and if we go to settings over here real quick there we go let's go to about now, as you can see, this does register your device as a OnePlus 7 and the device looks different with the 855 processor. Now to fix that, there is a small zip that you need to flash from Majisk. So go to Majisk over here and select this option, select install from storage, hit allow and then select your internal storage and you should have about phone mod, select that it will say it is flashing and then it'll ask you to reboot so just reboot the phone and then your phone although it will still display as a oneplus 7 but yes it will give you a picture of a pocophone f1 and the processor in question will be a snapdragon 845 so basically what we did here you know we installed the rom we installed the fix and now we'll quickly not in detail but we'll quickly have a look at all the features of this rom are there any bugs or not at least in my one you know half an hour of usage initial bugs is something that i did not find so i can't really say that you know there are a lot of bugs or there aren't any but yes, I can tell you face unlock works, fingerprint scanner works just fine, Wi-Fi calling works. So, you know, almost everything is working just fine. And this ROM is extremely, extremely smooth. Almost all the OnePlus features are working fine. Now, for obvious reason, you don't have an alert slider on this particular device. So you're going to have to make do. But all of that I will go ahead and cover in the full review. But as you can see over here, this is Oxygen OS 10.0. 3.5 for oneplus 7 which is ported to this particular device and with a simple method of flashing it works perfectly fine now when i review this particular rom i will try to cover gaming as well at least i will game for 30 minutes so that all you gamers who are using the pocophone f1 i can share the details with you as well but for now you know honestly this was a quick install and preview of oxygen os 10.3.5 for the Pocophone F1. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it or not. After two or three days, a full review will be coming up. So stay tuned for that. And if you've not already, please subscribe or hit the join button to support us. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.